Well, everybody, we made it to the end of January, so to celebrate, let's check out the most expensive listing in the Louisville area. This is the Cold Spring Estate. It was originally built by the Speed family back in 1867, right outside of the land that would eventually become Cherokee Park, which was built out in 1891. So this was absolutely the first house that was built in this area, which is now made up of the Bonnie Castle and Highlands Douglas neighborhoods. And the Speed family likely owned a large portion of this area before it was subdivided into a park system and residential neighborhoods. Now this house is interesting because it's been modified a decent bit over the years. Back in 1911, the same family that built it added onto the home, nearly doubling the size of its original footprint and giving it the Italian villa style finishes that you still see here today. At that point, they also added the large carriage house just up the drive. Then in 2013, the property was bought by a development company who planned to update the entire property, but as you can see, they didn't quite finish it out. So the house still needs a decent bit of finishing work, but the silver lining there is that the new owner can pick all of their own finishes, making the house truly their own. Although it's gonna require some serious cash to get it there on top of that lofty sale price. The house was originally built on 34 acres and what's included in the property today is 6.72 acres. So obviously it's not quite the same footprint as it was originally, but even a half an acre lot over there is a rare find. So that's where a lot of the value lies. But make no mistake, this place is 100% fit for a Bond villain. It has over 13,000 square feet total, runs off of a decked out geothermal heating and cooling system, has a four car carriage house that could be used as most people's homes by itself, has a pool and a pool house at the back of the property, and with the 6.7 acres it sits on, it essentially is its own park right outside of Cherokee Park. It'll definitely take a special buyer with the right vision to give it the justice that it deserves, but man, is it gonna be a dreamy setup when it's all finished out. Can't wait to see the finished product. Stay tuned for part two.